Hey guys, Meyer Nassar here. So this is kind of an unorthodox way of doing this, but uh, I am trying to give you access to information with respect to New York's paid family leave. This is enacted as a result of the coronavirus and the quarantine, the mandatory quarantine that everybody's having to go through and how it's affecting people's work. So if you have exhausted your emergency sick leave and you are not able to work from home, you can apply for uh, the family leave. Now, this is the form. I know it's probably coming the opposite way, but you can go onto the website. Uh, it's in. It's on the governor's website, and this is a form where you fill out your section. Um, it's for COVID-19, so it's a form that's specifically made for circumstances that relates to this. Uh, you would apply for paid family leave. It's related to children being at home because of the school quarantine. You can qualify for that. There's a certain amount of benefit up to 840 uh, 70 per week and if you as a result of not being able to work you can also claim disability and get up to $2,043.92 so that's a great benefit you'll have to go through a process of submitting this to your employer as a form and they sign off on that and now here's the thing if the insurance carrier for your employer for the disability benefits happens to deny your claim you would have to go through uh, the National Arbitration and Mediation, um, yeah, National Arbitration and Mediation. It's a, it's an organization that basically is a a third party uh, alternate dispute resolution method instead of going to the court process. It's relatively quicker. It's uh, less uh, expensive than the overall court process, but it is obviously going to be somewhat uh, limited in terms of there's no court process, and so it's going to be quicker, but. I don't know how else to put this, but it's through a process that is uh, generally, in my opinion, and just my opinion, I feel like it's not as favorable for those that are individuals, but that's just my opinion. I know that insurance carriers in general like to deny claims just because that's what they can do and then they go through this and that's just the nature of it. So um, so you go through this request for paid leave, um, you go through all this, there's, like a, there's a couple of forms of information in order to calculate how much money you made, and then... Um, and that's it. I mean, you submit this form to the insurance carrier. Your employer would provide that as a part of going through and filling out that portion where they're supposed to fill out. And then you submit this and hopefully, uh, you know, you are able to get it. It's supposed to be 18 days where you get a response and and uh, hopefully you get those benefits. I just wanted to put this out there for you can also go and I'll list the website link in the video as well. So best of luck, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Happy to help. Take care.